In this video, you're gonna learn about the amazing side hustle of drop shipping. What's up everybody, it's Adrian Brambilly here and we are recording in my van, tiny home, talking about the amazing side hustle of drop shipping. If you're just catching this video, this is one video in a series of 30 for beginners on how to make money online. I think drop shipping has a bad rep, particularly because what um, slimier entrepreneurs have done is they've taken a really awesome business model that is legit, drop shipping business model, which we'll explain, and they've done the slimiest things. They've sold crappiest, crappy China products and marketed them as high-end luxury and delivered them to customers and customers felt scammed. They've marketed high-end dresses and in Chinese sizes. So when people received uh, the dresses, they were like, totally didn't fit. Those people, when you think of drop shipping, don't think of those people. Think of the amazing opportunity of what it is. And please, if you're gonna do the side hustle, do it with some ethics and morals and change the reputation on this side because it's actually amazing. Before drop shipping was, you could call it like a mainstream internet side hustle, um, it was hard to basically sell stuff online. I remember because 10 years ago, at the age of 21, I was starting my first um, e-commerce store online. And drop shipping, although it existed, it wasn't popular. And there definitely wasn't as many resources on how to do it as there are today. And so, because I did not know about drop shipping and do drop shipping, and I wanted to sell clothing, this is what it looked like. I created my designs, and then I had to purchase bulk inventory for each design that I created, and then I had to house that product and then sell them, which I did not. My wife will attest to this because I purchased about $2,500 of my hard-earned money, only making $27,000 a year, into buying bulk sweatshirts, sweatpants, shirts, snapbacks, beanies. And I had this inventory that I could not move. Sad day, uh, when I eventually sold everything to move to Europe, um, I still had boxes of, of that clothing uh, in my house and I eventually had to go to Goodwill and drop it off. Ashley, you want to come in and, and verify that if that story is true? Give us one second. Ashley's making the long way down the van to verify the story. How annoyed were you? You look great. How annoyed were you about all that clothing that stayed in her house like for over seven years? On a scale of one to ten. Ten being really annoyed. Mm -hmm. I would have to say I was a solid five in terms of annoyed, but at that time, I also had a full closet of clothes, so I didn't really feel like I could complain too much, and I understood what you were trying to do. Oh, um, that's so sweet. Yeah, I just, I figured it would probably stay there until we moved, and actually, it followed us a few different moves along the way, so mm -hmm. I had to go to a different country for you to get rid of them. Honest opinion. Very good. The classic two thumbs up. So that's what selling stuff online looked like before drop shipping. Uh, it sucked. You had to cough up money. I, that was like all my savings went into this e-commerce store I did. I was going to sell dance apparel and um, I didn't sell it. I think I made my money back. Um, it's hard to tell. It was such a long time ago, maybe. But then I was also left with all this clothing that I had to carry on, carry around for years because I couldn't sell it. Drop shipping fixes all that. Drop shipping works like this. So you create a website and let's say it's about creating uh, a nice uh, non-smelly or good smell vibe place. You sell stuff like this. This is a product that's like a, has a, a, I think like a basil smell to it, maybe some essential oil. You run an ad on Facebook, it's listed on your website or you're selling on Google or you're even creating TikToks or blogs and you say, this is one of my favorite um, things you can put in, which is made out of organic material and it's, and it's healthy and it, and it makes the whole place smell fresh like basil. Now, back in the day, you would have had to purchase in wholesale like a thousand units or a hundred units. So like I did, 
your savings two thousand ish dollars or more to buy this at a bulk price and then your retail price is basically we try to make um your investment back but drop shipping changes that drop shipping is amazing because uh, a manufacturer that is selling this creating this or, or someone that's making this is willing to basically drop ship this product for you so let's say the person who made this let's say it's someone in the usa and um, they're not like a full scale corporate company. This is basically a mom and pop shop. And so they're making these uh, oils and they're shipping from, let's just say Oregon. Right now, if you go buy this, this is worth maybe like $40, but they're willing to do a drop ship price for you, which potentially is $10. And that does not include shipping. I'm just gonna ignore shipping uh, for now for sake of example, $10. So you list this on your website, the customer sees this for $40 and they make the purchase. Now you're running uh, an ad online, that's gonna cost you money. Let's say that uh, for simple math costs you $10 in ads to get someone to your website and purchase this, right? So the cost of goods is $10 and uh, the running the ads is another $10. So now you have a $20 margin. Actually, let's, let's add shipping in. So let's say shipping is $5. So all in to sell this, $25, you sold it for 40, you have a profit of $15. And the business that's making this sends it straight to your customer. On your website, you may have this, other different uh, uh, scents, and all different. you could have other candles, all different types of stuff, but you actually don't have to buy the inventory. The, the person who's making it, the company that's making it, is gonna send it directly to your customer. All you have to do is worry about catering to the customer and basically selling this item. That's essentially what dropshipping is. What dropshipping did was allow anyone with the ability to sell online or create a website the opportunity to basically create a store without investing a large amount of capital. Like before, you, has, you used to have to get a business loan to start a business. And I remember like uh, in my earlier days in college, like we had classes like on how to write a business plan. I've never written a business plan on anything I've ever done. I, I learned online about drop shipping and then I found really good products that I cared about that I've, uh, I would always order them myself, especially if I was drop shipping from China, which I used to do back in the day. And I would send it to myself first to make sure it's legit um, and it's good quality because you never, ever, ever want to scam someone. You never, ever want to trick someone. You won't be in business very long if you do that. Um, and then um, I would, I was able to basically drop ship and just focus on the marketing and the sales or, or social building a social media audience behind a brand. Uh, and I don't mean like personal Adrian Brambilla brand. I've created multiple different brands, like a, a, a brand on skateboarding, a, grant, a brand on um, fitness, a brand on female beauty. You would have no idea that I'm the mastermind behind the scenes, you know, running the, the ads and the marketing and delivering awesome products. So drop shipping allows you to start with less than $500 to actually get this business up and going. Now in my example, you know, I, I gave fake numbers, but drop shipping doesn't have the best profit. Your drop shipping, so the, the, the company is basically marking up the price higher than wholesale. And then you have to run ads to bring the customer in unless you're gonna try to bring them in organically by creating blogs or posting on YouTube or TikTok. And then there's shipping. That shipping you're just gonna have to pay for unless it's in the cost already from uh, the manufacturer to the customer. All those things aside, it's amazing because you can create whatever store you'd like. Just find the products, find the manufacturers, and boom, create the brand. That's amazing. But uh, your profits are slim. So let me tell you what drop shipping's in it, like the intention behind the purpose behind drop shipping. You don't actually want to build a massive drop shipping store. Drop shipping is actually the best way to test a niche. If I was basically created a scent brand and I was selling this and I noticed I was like starting to sell a lot of it and I'm making like, and again, I'm, my profit margins like 20%, 30% would be amazing. And, and I'm selling it now like, wow, I'm actually selling like a hundred units um, every single month. The next step, that's what this is what dropshipping allowed you to test this niche. And now it's time to private label this. So right here you can see there's a brand on here. And this brand, you're selling someone else's is brand, but eventually you would change this up and you would make it your own. Your, your own brand that you've created online, you'd make it um, actually have like your website right right down here. Or maybe you'd, you'd brand it in some way that uh, was your brand. That is the next level where now you're private labeling and you've created your own product. It's very expensive to do that, but 
because you you tested first through drop shipping and you're and you're selling that product and now you sold enough that you can forecast your sales that's when you go and you start branding your own um, product and that's the next level so drop shipping is the best place to start if you want to create your own brand but it's not a place to stay it's just for testing because here's the most realistic scenario you try to sell this and you learn that you can't so then you try something else you try to sell hanging fake plants because that's the realistic game for drop shipping is it it's a testing type of business model and when you find something that works amazing because most people don't and most people give up after a few tests but I didn't. I had to drop ship a lot. I had to test a lot of different products to figure out what works. And when I say that, I mean specifically research, finding a product that is quality that I can actually sell with markup uh, at least three times. And then uh, running ads because I'm an advertiser to run ads to try to uh, sell, the sell to the customer. That's a whole different game. And then nurturing the customer to make sure that they come back and buy from my store. This is a very advanced side hustle. I'm warning you right now, there's a lot of different pieces to learn. You have to learn how to build a website. You have to learn how to research products that are trendy or find an evergreen niche of products that are people are always going to buy these you know these type of things and then you have to also learn about ads who the audience is and then trying to bring the people in at a um, effective cost per acquisition that's a lot that's like you got to learn a lot a lot to get this side hustle under wraps i don't mean to scare you away i just want to try to make this very realistic um, in my 30 day free course here, you know, you're trying to get a, a wide sense of like, what are all the different ways you can make money online? Can you make a lot of money on dropshipping? Absolutely. I've made multiple six figures from the side hustle and I never wanted to take the leap to go to private label um, because that's a whole, that's a big commitment. Um, I didn't want to do that. So what I usually did is I would build dropshipping stores that were effective. I was making money and then I would sell my store to someone else. And I don't know if they kept it dropshipping or if they end up moving private labeling. Uh, my hands were, were clean. I did my job and then I would sell my brands and um, I was paid handsomely for all that. So if you're thinking about dropshipping, where would you start? Well, first, when it comes to products, this is really a product driven business. I would encourage you to start researching you know, in my first video, I talked to, in this course, I talked about picking a niche. So you're still in that niche. And if we'll just stick with the scent example here, you go online, you try to figure out what are all the products you could drop ship um, in scents. There's a couple different routes to go. AliExpress is a website that most people drop ship products from China. AliExpress has terrible products. Absolutely, Lord, so bad. These products you do not want to sell to people. And they also have amazing products. In fact, I challenge you, pause this video and look across your room, wherever you're watching this, unless you're outside somewhere. But then I actually would challenge you to look at the labels of the clothing you're wearing. You'll soon realize that everything that we have in America is made in China, is made overseas. And this is a good looking van, but I bet you a lot of this stuff, even though I bought it in the States, was actually made in China. What I'm trying to say is, just because something's from China online doesn't make it bad, bad quality. In fact, you'll realize that most of the stuff we own is actually from China. The clothing on our back that you might be wearing right now, which may have Burberry on it, if you like brands, was actually probably made in China or somewhere else um, overseas. You can get great products from China. You just have to do research. So what does research look like? Well, that's what we're gonna get into right now. If you've never been to AliExpress, prepare to be amazed because you could literally find everything on this website. And the only difference between Amazon and AliExpress is AliExpress is where manufacturers list products. So the, you're getting basically a, a manufactured, call it like a wholesale-ish type of price or a dropship price for amazing things that basically big box stores like Target are uh, buying in bulk and then selling to you at a premium. So why don't I just start with something random? Um, I'm just going to start with like clothing. Let's do men's fitness clothing. So let's say you were going to create a drop shipping store. You want to sell uh, clothing. And I've actually recently purchased a bunch of stuff from here, but let's you know, because it's AliExpress, you're going to see some, some random stuff that you probably don't want to sell. Um, but then, you know, like this actually is pretty nice. I mean, that's a stereotypical giant 
man in the photo, but uh, let's see if I find something I like. This looks nice. I'm trying to look for stuff that's non-branded. Oh, that's not, that's a ASRV. That's actually a big popular brand. Don't want to sell anything that is branded. Let's try this. So, a men's sportswear arm zipper. This looks super nice. And um, this is basically how you look at products here. I'm just trying to see their outfits. So this is like a basically a um, a tracksuit comes together. And normally, I guess if I was to go buy this at like Lululemon or something, um, probably in the hundreds of dollars uh, to get this set. And for a whole price of sixteen dollars and thirty nine cents, voila. I can get this. Now, if you're shopping as a customer, you're thinking, wow, that's a bargain. But this is actually a decent price if you're looking at a drop shipper um, to basically sell and make a profit. And typically, when you're doing drop shipping, you want to at least mark up your product three times. That's so you know you found something great. So what is that? $49.17. Perfect. Let's just call it. You would sell it on your store for $49.99. And um, essentially, let's say it would cost you... Tw I'm just going to make this even 50 for simple math. So um, right away, the cost... Let's see if it includes shipping. Okay. Oh, that's actually... has. It's quite expensive to ship. Um, but let me see if there's shipping options. Um... So today is January 8th at the time of this video, 22nd. So the delivery, uh, that's the one thing about AliExpress is you're not going to get like Amazon in two days. It's going to take a while. Um, so this is standard shipping and it's going to take a couple weeks. And people are actually willing to wait around for a couple weeks for a good deal. So um, now I think this is a really nice material. I haven't even gone to the reviews yet, but at dropshipping is really a game of math, right? So $50 minus now what the um, shipping is so I'm just call it minus 33 so that's your margin right now if you marked it up three times $17 is that enough um probably not but the, my I always give my uh, times three multiple as the bare minimum um, and you shouldn't judge me for this, but like when you go and buy something in a store, it's usually marked up like a lot, sometimes 10 times or even more. So I think for a full jumpsuit, I mean, like I've easily spent $50 on a hoodie alone and sweatpants. I spent 50. So let's say I try to sell this for um, $67 minus 33 cost of goods plus shipping. So now I'm working with $34. Now let's say it's going to cost me $20 in ads to sell one. So now I have a cushion of $14. And I always try to uh, make my math feel, um, give me incentives. So let's say if I sold 100, where would that leave me? It would leave me with a profit of $1,400 after I sold 100 of these bad boys. So that's the math game I'm running through my head. I constantly have this calculator with me. I'm punching in numbers here and I'm trying to see if the math works. So that's first thing I do when I have, when I'm trying to figure out a dropship product, um, the math. Uh, then if the math is favorable, it's time to see, is this product worth it? Now, um, typically what I like to do is ship the product to myself. Um, Unless there's a gigantic trend that is happening right now and you cannot miss it, every day is valuable, ship this product to yourself, test it out, and see if it's good quality. Because you never, ever, ever want to scam someone, trick someone, you will not be in business very long. And for essentially, drop shipping in all businesses is not about making a profit on the first sale. It's actually about the second and third and forever sale that they love your brand, they keep coming back and shopping. That's where you make real money on the internet. It's not usually through the first product you sell. So the next thing I'm looking for is product images. Um, is there images like, could I actually just take these and use these in ads or for my product? Are they good quality? And these are amazing, amazing, amazing quality. Um, I love it. So that checks out, checks that box off the list. And lastly, I'm going to go check out the reviews because 
the reviews of if I let's say I'm not going to purchase it from uh, and I just want to sell it and I really need to pay attention to the reviews because I don't want to trick people and then uh, also before I even buy it for myself I want to make sure these reviews are good and so I'm, I'm really looking at these reviews for quality sake I want comments on the quality are people saying this is cheap material this sucks then I'm on to the next one so this guy says thin and so good this says the size of the suit doesn't add up, and this is also saying the size of the suit doesn't add up. Oh, this is the same person, um, so he ordered the wrong thing. Five stars, five stars. Five stars is good, but it's not helpful. I want written description. So I have one person that says this is good, um, good quality. So right then and there, I'm right now I'm making a judgment call. Do I want to try and sell this um, or first get it myself to see if it works? Right now, the math works. I think I could definitely sell this for 67 bucks online marketed towards a gentleman um, and then if this is um, if I like this product I could keep I could go back on Aliexpress and keep searching under here or I could see if um, this manufacturer has other products that simply will save you more time if you like a certain if you find a, a specific article of clothing or item that you like then go click on there on this so this is the manufacturers basically like version of the Amazon store and you can see all the other things that they make um, so here's some cool shorts and for full transparency I did order these and I received them from this uh, place and they were great quality I love them I love these shorts so um, this product let's so if you wanted to sell uh, finished shorts just click on those camo where's the ones I bought I think I bought these. Um, so nine dollars and forty six cents plus eight eighty five. So again, pretty cheap. Um, and you could probably sell this. The math isn't as nice as the other one, but it's pretty nice. Um, the images here are excellent, amazing, good quality. I could just copy and paste these and put them on my store. It's pretty fascinating. So that's amazing that's a little about aliexpress it's pretty remarkable what's on here you can literally get lost and shop um and you can shop for yourself or you know drop shipping this is essentially how you find um products and manufacturers from china um let me do one more thing here i'm going to take a look at their uh store home and i want to see if they have anything about the ma the manufacturing facility i always try to take a look there um, because I want to make sure that the uh, manufacturer is legit. Um, typically, they'll have information about you know where they're listed. You can actually look them up on Google. And I'm not seeing. Usually, there's a tab that says it uh, for this one. And if I cannot find them, you know, there is a concern that usually runs through my mind is I want to make sure that this is an ethical manufacturer um, that they're not doing child labor or something like that um, so I typically will try to contact them if I don't see anything um, but some sometimes manufacturers will have like an official website outside of Aliexpress and that's all I was looking for but I could not find for this brand um, so that is pretty much it when I am shopping to try to figure out products to list I will look at the product make sure it looks awesome check out the reviews run my numbers on the math um, and then before I finally make the purchase I will actually contact them uh, if I cannot find their store and then lastly if I cannot find information about uh, their the manufacturing uh, facility I will contact them and um, I I've done FaceTime with people before uh, the reps over there and I've also just messaged them or I've asked them to do a uh, video share of their facilities and it's just one way that you can just feel good about um, uh, that to sell these because you don't want to promote a bad manufacturing facility even if you can get a good product at least I don't I always want to make sure there's ethics behind the stuff uh, I'm selling and the ethics here um, based on drop shipping is you're delivering a valuable product you've created the brand and if you feel like this is tricking people like what drop shipping is it really is not because if you feel that way then next time you go on target complain to target and say hey you're buying all this stuff in China and you're marking it up 
That's a scam. <laughs> this is how the world works. A manufacturer makes a product. A retail store sells a product for much more. The retail charges more for all the different reasons why they're bringing you that product. They've curated it, they branded it, and they brought it to you when you go to the box store. So that's why they charge it. This is the same thing, except on the internet. Even if you don't want to do drop shipping, now that you know how AliExpress works, you might be like, wow, I can get so many different things for cheap. And I've done that multiple, multiple times. I'll actually always try to buy my stuff on AliExpress now versus in the States because it's so much cheaper. But here is my specific strategy. What you want to do is find the mom and pops, craftswoman and crafts men of the world who are so dedicated to their craft, they're making high-end furniture, they're making outdoor patio sets by hand or or just like a small shop, a small team. And these people are making an, an amazing high-end quality product, but they're just not marketing or business savvy. They're missing that arm or piece. And that's where you can come in, where you make a relationship with them and say, hey, I've seen your product. I love it. In fact, you can go to your next farmer's market and now put it on your drop shipping lenses and look around and look at all the people who are making really cool stuff. Like That's who you want to team up with and put their unique, awesome products on the internet in which you can market. So not only will you, you will personally know if they are legit, awesome uh, product quality, you'll also be able to have a unique advantage when you are marketing your products because it's unique and local maybe to where you are. Now, at the time of this video, we're dealing with COVID and a pandemic. So going around knocking on doors and meeting and greeting people to make relationships would seem a little scary. What you can do, Etsy, amazing platform. That's where basically the craftsmen and craftswomen people of the internet exist and research on there to try to find and create those relationships. And all it's simple as this, you write an email that says, hey, I am a brand, here's my brand, and I love your product. I was wondering if I could list on my website for like a drop ship price. Some people are gonna say no. Some people are gonna say, get out. And some people are like, yeah, why not? If you pitch it to them in a way that's low risk or no risk, it says, hey, I'm just gonna list your product on my site, is there any way, um, if I make a sale, can I, uh, can I just send that order to you? Is there a way that we can make that relationship um, uh, work? It's no risk to them. All you're doing is offering more sales for that person. There is so much to drop shipping. I can't break everything down in this one video. One of the first courses I ever created was on drop shipping because I it was at first the only side hustle I was doing. This is before I was doing affiliate marketing. And I still have that course that's now updated. Of, uh, I update it pretty much every year, anytime you know Facebook has a big ad change, um, which is actually going around right now. If you want to do a deep dive, you feel drop shipping is the side hustle you would like to try, first comment below. Cause I'd love to hear, I love seeing people say like, get pumped and be like, oh, I love this. I've always wanted to try it. Um, drop shipping is definitely a, an amazing side hustle that can turn into a big, big uh, brand. Uh, but if you are really committed to this idea, I do have an amazing, super intense, like 20 video course called Search Engine Conquest. It ties drop shipping to using search engine and trending data to basically build a drop shipping store. If you wanna check it out, you can go to adrianbrambilla.com slash dropshipping, which will take you to that course. You can learn more information about that. At the time of this recording, I'm actually transparently not doing any drop shipping. Right now I live in a van. I'm driving across the country, visiting amazing places, and um, often I have pretty crappy Wi-Fi. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't have time to constantly monitor my ads with drop shipping. And, that, and that's kind of where most of the maintenance is, is that front end acquisition of running ads, bringing people in. You're running ads, you're spending money because the profits are so thin when you run ads, unless you have a found an amazing product, you have to constantly be tweaking and testing and checking your ads. I just can't, I don't have the time to do that because there's days I'm going out, I'm, you know, living without internet, um, which is actually quite nice. You should try it sometime. Um, and drop shipping is, is just a high maintenance business. It's amazing. You can scale, but you're going to have to basically master the process of running ads, bring customers in at an effective cost per acquisition. It just doesn't stay. You can't set it on autopilot. That's just not what this side hustle is, which is why I focus right now. Most of my um, business income is from affiliate marketing because it is passive. It does provide that. I love drop shipping too. As soon as I'm settled and pick a place, I'm definitely going to do drop shipping again because I do have the aspirations to, to build and private label some products and some niches I'm thinking up in here. That's a little 101 on drop shipping. If it's for you, comment below. I'd like to hear maybe 
first, if you're interested in trying this side hustle, is this something you're trying in 2021? Or if you actually have an idea of what niche you wanna pursue, comment below. If you do comment your niche, I'll let you know if I think it's a good one or bad one. Don't forget to get the worksheets that go complimentary with this free course. You can get them at adrianbrambilla.com slash 30 days. Otherwise, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Who here has watched every single video in the free course? I wanna, I wanna see those people too, comment below. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this free course is making you think about the internet and businesses, give you inspiration, motivation, and specific how-tos and directions on what to do. We'll catch you in tomorrow's video. This is Adrian Brambilla. Peace. When I started my very first side hustle, I was working at a call center making $27,000 a year. If I could pinpoint how I got from then to now, it would definitely be by the power of habit. It's one of the hardest things to create, but once you have it, you feel unstoppable. To help you build it, I've created the Side Hustle Journal, which is a daily journal that will help hold you accountable to working on your side hustle and creating an amazing business and life that you love. Go to adrianbrambilla.com journal to check it out today.